Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So earlier in the afternoon, we actually had a couple of flood advisories. Good news is we've seen those flood advisories expire. That's because we've actually seen some of those showers kind of fizzling out, cutting back on some of the rain. Though we did see some very beneficial rain across the Concho Valley for today. Really started in towards the southern parts, out towards Interstate 10. Started to kind of meander further towards the north as that a stationary front drifted up in towards this way. Again, we did see some pockets of drier areas. Did not see as much beneficial rain. Again, most of the rain here in towards the San Angelo area stayed either off towards the west or towards the north, though we did pick up a little bit of rain in downtown area. And most of the heaviest rain stayed in towards the southern parts of the Concho Valley, getting closer towards one and one and a half inches. Again, those showers kind of fizzling out as we get into the evening hours. Still some lingering in towards the eastern parts and moving off towards the east. So fairly quiet conditions as we continue to head into the evening hours, though we're not completely done with the rain chance. Still could see one or two pop up showers as we go through the evening and overnight hours. And again, we didn't see a whole lot as you're kind of taking a look right now at our radar. No storms to really talk about in the Concho Valley, and that's fizzling out basically across the state. We saw that kind of boundary sitting just to the south of Interstate 20. Again, that's kind of started to fizzle out closer towards uh, after sunset. Still hanging on to some of the further eastern showers. Uh, they're staying out towards the I-35 and 45 area, so much in towards East Texas and seeing a little bit better moisture, though it's still pretty humid out there. As you kind of step out the door, it's still hanging on to plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. That will allow us to see one or two showers as we continue into the evening hours in towards tomorrow. Again, into the morning time frame, could see one or two showers, but most of us are just going to be seeing the increased cloud coverage. And then as we get in towards the afternoon and evening hours, those clouds kind of start to break up. The rain chances really start to kind of drop, we'll drop down for about 20, 10, 20 to 10 percent. And then we'll start to see those clouds begin to break up as you get into the evening hours. There was those showers off towards the north at our cactus camp. It kind of, kind of fizzled out as we got in towards sunset. Still hanging on to plenty of cloud coverage. A couple of drops out there. You're seeing a little bit more moisture on the roadway. So still could be slick. Do be careful if you are hitting the road. It is 68 degrees right now. So significant cool down thanks to those showers. Dew points, though, into the 60s as well. Very humid, putting our humidity values at about 84%. And calmer winds as we continue into the evening and overnight hours. Again, for the most part, winds aren't going to be a big factor for the next couple of days. Fairly light winds as we continue into the evening and overnight hours. Most part, rain chances 40%. That's basically done. Could see one or two isolated showers for the most part. Going in towards tomorrow, though, we'll continue to see those rain chances very isolated in nature, about 20 percent, one or two. And then we'll see those rain chances kind of continue to dwindle as you go through the morning into the afternoon hours. Temperatures very similar to what we saw today. Temperatures reaching up into the upper 70s and low 80s once again. And then we'll see those rain chances kind of continue to dwindle as we go through your Tuesday and towards your Wednesday. That's where we could actually see a bit of a break. Those clouds break up. Temperatures could take a bit bit of a jump from those lower 80s into the upper 80s, even starting to see a return back to some of those low 90s. And we're going to hang on to some of those 90s as we finish up the work week, kind of getting in towards Thursday and Friday, still looking at those warmer temperatures. Though at Friday evening, that's when we see our next cold front, not quite as organized, but could be moving quickly across the area, bringing a little bit of those isolated showers across the area and those cooler temperatures, kind of resetting those temperatures from those 90s. And I'm back down into the 80s as we get in towards your Saturday and Sunday. And we'll still hang on to those isolated showers for Saturday and Sunday, though not as widespread as what we saw this past weekend, especially with that Friday event where we saw those widespread showers. A lot of places picked up anywhere between two to three inches in rain. Again, you know, over the next six to seven days, again, maybe picking up an inch of rain for the Concho Valley. It's not going to be nearly as well, widespread. Winning with the weather, don't forget, we will be giving away a $150 gift card to HEB, and we'll be announcing the winner on Friday. All you got to do is go to our website, ConchoValleyHomePage.com, and sign up for your chance to win. There's we see that break from the cloud coverage on Wednesday. Temperatures climbing up into those upper 80s. We'll hang out with the 90s for a couple days before a cold front pulls us back down into the 80s heading into the weekend. This week's Winning with the Weather prize is provided by Service Master by Texas Best. This portion of the news is sponsored by Aladdin's Flooring and Max Care.